Hey YouTube, it's been a while since I did a hair video, so I want to show y'all how long my hair has gotten, and I'm in my third trimester, so I'm going to be going to labor pretty soon, and I'm getting ready to get a new camera so my videos can be longer, but this is what my belly looks like, I go into labor December 3rd. I am going to do like newborn routines and stuff like that for first time moms. But anyways, I know you guys are used to me having the braids and doing like Amazon reviews and reviews on Forever 21 and stuff like that. So, I recently just got my hair fluttered from my cut. And this is how long it has gotten. And it has grew out very beautifully, healthfully, helpful. I don't know if y'all can see the back, but I'm going to have to probably position the camera so y'all can see the back. But I just wanted to show y'all my hair and it being fluttering because it's been a while since I had did a hair video. But there it is right there. Turn the brightness up. Okay, that's how long my hair has gotten since I had got it cut. Now, my hair is kind of cut into layers, so that's how it's growing. So, my back is longer than my front. I don't know if y'all can notice that or see that. I'm going to be getting an iPhone here pretty soon. And... I just wanted to show y'all again uh, my hair. So I'm going to actually show y'all me wrapping my hair up. And this is my real hair. Um, I'm going to show y'all me wrapping my hair up and what do I use. First and foremost, I need a bigger one of these because I got a kid's one and this don't fit all the way around like it should. But you should definitely have one of these. When wrapping your hair, it's a hair wrap. It's called a Mish hair wrap. You can get it from the hair store. It's not that much. How many minutes will I look on here? And then a wrap brush. So let's get started. And this is how I wrap my hair every night. Like a beehive, like a beehive. For those of you who have problems wrapping your hair, sometimes you have to get your hair trained to do that. Sometimes you might have to hold it. You might have to put some clips right there to kind of hold it so you get your scarf and stuff ready. Um, I've been natural wearing my hair curly for so long and I had did the braids. So for me, my hair kind of used to um, get my hair back trained to being wrapped. That's how I do it. I go around again with it. Sometimes I make tuck as I go around because I don't be feeling like rewrapping it. And then after that, I do put on another scarf. So if my hair can be secure at night, like that. And I wrap it around, like that. And then I put on my little do-rag scarf. It's silk. It's always good to use a silk scarf for your hair. Both all these scarves are silk, except for my Mish wrap. Uh, they do have silk Mish wraps, but yes, it's always good to use that. Because in case your hair come out at night, it's not pulling um, on anything because the scarf is silk. And I would like y'all to comment, like, and share. And please subscribe to my channel so I can start going live 
when I'm out at places and stuff like that. Right now, I'm not able to go live because nobody has subscribed to me yet. So, please come and subscribe and show me some support. I talk about different things, not just hair and clothes and stuff like that. When I go into labor, I am going to try on my Forever 21 clothes. So, I am going to do a, a, a try-on haul. And thank you guys. Comment, like, and share. Thanks, YouTube.